Hey man, we out here for our people, man. We are the battle axes of the most high. Battle axes, God's weapons of war. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. We on the corner and we ready for war. And I know you ain't seen nothing like this before. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. Cause like we tell brothers and sisters, man, you're not fully in the truth unless you are keeping the commandments, brother. That's right. right. Most high God weighs your action. Give me first Samuel chapter two, verse three, all right? He weighs your, he weighs your action. You give me James chapter one, verse two. Bring it out, huh? So how long have you been knowing about the truth? Uh, probably like a month ago. About a month ago, okay. Read this right quick, all right? Break it out, huh? It's the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2 and verse 3. Bring it out. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Read on, huh? Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. Read on. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. Is a God of what? Is a God of knowledge. Is a God of what? Is a God of knowledge. Read on, huh? And by him, actions are weighed. So the Most High God weighs your actions, brother. So when you turn to this truth, guess what? You need to instantly jump up in this thing, man. That's right. You give me Psalm chapter 119, verse 59. Read this, huh? This is the book of James, chapter 1. One, verse 22. Bring it on. But be ye doers of the word. But be ye what? But, but be ye doers of the word. The most like God is saying, be a doer of the word. That's so when right. this thing instantly hits you, guess what? You need to instantly apply, brother. Read on. And not hear his own. And not what? And, and not, not hear his own. And not what? And, and not, not hear, hear his own. Read on, not huh? deceiving your own self. Read on. For if any be a hearer of the word. And not a dude. So if you just listening to the words and not actually doing what the Bible is telling you to do, read on. He is like unto a man, beholding his natural face, and a good. Hold on, brother, you know your nationality according to the Bible? Don't we you good. Know that interracial marriage is against the Bible? Hey. Hey. Let me do Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Wait, come on! Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, oh, verse 3. Bring it out. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Read that again, huh? Neither, Neither shall, shall we make, make marriages with the them. The Bible commands us not to make marriages with the other nations. Read, huh? Thy daughter shall not give unto his son. I'll read that right. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. But we shouldn't give our daughters unto their sons. Read on. Nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. Or the reversal. Read on. For they will. For they what? For they will. For they what? For, For they, they will. will. The Bible says it's not a matter of time. It's a... That thing will happen. Read on. Turn away thy son from following me. From doing what? From, from following, following me. me. So guess what? The other nations are always turn us away from our God, brother. You understand that? That's why the Most High God has laws set up so where we can't go off. Read this. Right. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 59. Bring it out. Oh. I thought on my way. He did what? I thought on my way. David thought on his ways, brother. The same thing you need to be contemplating. Read on. And turn my feet unto thy testimony. The testimony of the Bible is the scriptures. Give me that in Revelation chapter 19, verse 10 or 11. Read that again. Right. I thought of my ways. He did what? I, I thought, thought of my ways. ways. You gotta think on your ways, brother. You done heard this truth. You know it's the truth. So guess what? You need to come head first into it. Read on. And turn my feet to thy testimony. You gotta turn your feet to this testimony. That's right. Read this, uh, verse 11. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 19, verse 11. Bring it out. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. Yeah, verse 10, Salaki. Verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. So we're going to find out what the testimony is. Because a lot of times, brothers and sisters like, love to get their own personal testimony. Read on. And he said unto me, see thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant. He is what? I, I am, am thy, thy fellow, fellow servant. servant. Read on, huh? And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Christ. Read on. Worship God. Do what? Worship, worship God. God. Do what? Worship God. God. Read on, huh? For the testimony of Christ. It's the spirit of prophecy. So the testimony is the spirit of Christ. You understand that? Right, read this again. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 19, and verse 59. Bro. I thought of my way. He did what? I, I thought, thought of my way. Read on, huh? And turn my feet unto thy testimony. You got to turn your feet to the prophecies that's going on in this Bible. Read on. I made haste. He did what? I, I made, made haste. haste. Many King David hurried up. Read on. And delayed not to keep thy commandments. Just like sister, you know your nationality according to the Bible, sis? You believe in the Bible, sis? Read on. 
the bands of the wicked have robbed me. Did they, read that again, huh? The bands of, of the, the wicked, wicked have robbed me. So we know that, guess what? The wicked is the other nations. Right. Mainly the so-called white man Esau. And their bands are robbing us every day. We sit on the physical level, we more importantly sit on the spiritual level. Give me Sirach chapter 5, verse 7, huh? Yeah, read on. But I have not forgotten thy law. But he have did what? But I have not forgotten thy law. King David didn't forget God's laws, that's the commandments, because what's today? Well, what was today? The who? What high holy day was today? Now that the sun is down, it's over. The seven. The seven. That's right. That's right, bro. right. So you're commanded to do what? But you got to come up out of that. That's right. Like our brother say, get out, brother. Get up out of that thing, man. Because guess what? You're doing, you're committing sin according to the Bible, man. That's right. right. Read this, right. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. Bring it out. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. So don't make no tearing to turn to this Bible, brother. Read on, huh? And put not off from day to day. Because some people, when they get this knowledge, brother, they put off from day to day. They want to squander around. They want to play. But you don't never know. The Most High God might require your life, brother, that day. And you didn't have a proper enough time to get fully in this truth. Read on. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. So guess what? When you playing games, the Most High God can suddenly bring judgment on you, brother. Read on. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. And when you thinking it's safe and everything is all good, that's when the Most High God snatch your spirit, that's right. man. That's so right. we can't play right. games with this truth, brother. Read on. And perish in the day of vengeance. And do what? Uh, and perish in the day of vengeance. And then you perish in the day of vengeance, man. You understand me? So it's high time our people wake up. Give me Sons of Solomon chapter 5, verse 2. You give me uh, John chapter 10, and I think verse 9. Huh? So when you get that knock at the door, man, you need to answer that thing, brother. Uh-huh. Read that. Uh-huh. This is that what I want. Read on. This is the book of Sons of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 2. Uh -huh. I sleep. He do what? I, I sleep. sleep. Our people are asleep out here in the world, brother. Read on. But my heart wake. But his heart, meaning what? His mind have woken up. Read on. It is the voice of my beloved. It is the voice of who? Of it my beloved. Our beloved is going into Christ. Even when you read. Baruch chapter 3 verse 36 The beloved is the Israelites Every race, kindred, and tongue Is not a beloved of the most high God Read on That knocking, saying, open to me Read on My sister, my love It says when he get, when you get that knock at the door Guess what, you need to open that thing up brother. Mm -hmm. Come you on. need to answer that door And guess what Coming to this truth. That's right. Man. Read this I, It's the book of John chapter 10 and verse 9 Read on. I am the door by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Read that again. I, I am the door. Who is the door? I, I am, am the, the door. door. Christ is that door, brother. That's right. So when he's knocking, guess what? You need to open that thing up and enter in. Read on, knock. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Shall be what? He shall, shall be, be saved. saved. Christians tell that what they are already saved. But you won't get that in the Bible, brother. According to Matthew, you said the same that endure to the end, the same shall be saved, brother. Read on. And shall go in and out and find pasture. And find who? And, and find, find pasture. pasture. Meaning what? The fruits to eat. That green garden, uh, 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 healthy ground. Read on up. The thief cometh not. The what? The thief cometh not. Now we got the other nations that are as thieves out here, brother. Read on. But for to steal. But for to what? But for to steal. To steal physically and to basically steal your soul spiritually, brother. Read on up. And to kill. And to destroy. To kill and to what? And to destroy. destroy. Guess what? They destroying our people out here. They thinking, they got us thinking that guess what? God loves everybody. Thinking that guess what? He's for everybody. Right. But when you actually read the Bible, you won't find none of this right. stuff in the Bible, brother. So it's how time you got to come into this thing. What's some of the things you be struggling with, brother? Where your fringe is at? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, how do I get into this? Brother, guess what, man? You can get friends, man. Come start to gather amongst brothers. It wouldn't be nothing for us to give you some friends, right. man. That's right. A lot of these brothers already got shirts friends up, and we'd be happy to give it to you, brother. That's right. Just to help you keep the commandments. Can we do this today? Huh? Can we do this today? Yo, yeah, all praise, brother. Oh, we can't. We try to find you some. Get our numbers on that thing, man. It won't be nothing, man. Many of our wives so fringes, so it won't be nothing for us to give you a shirt with some fringes on these things, brother. You understand that? You got some questions, man? Yeah, I do. Go ahead. Uh, Cause I've been, I don't know. I guess like uh, I would say that I took the uh, acid trip and I know it was wrong. But uh, ever since then, I guess you could say like I was smoking weed. Uh huh. And then uh, when I came out of this trip somehow. 
and then I decided just to stop smoking weed. Oh, praise, man. Yes, sir. But then it's just like everywhere I go, like everybody around me, they keep telling me, like, why are you doing this this way? You need to get back into it this way. And I'm like, nah, I ain't going to die doing it this way. That's right, brother. That's exactly right. And it's like, it's everybody. It's like my mom. Yeah. So it's like, I don't even know why I'm really here right now. That's right. I was homeless two days ago. You know what I'm So like, what the hell is this to me? This is like my calling, but I don't know how I'm supposed to get this because like, I don't know. Now the thing is, you get it one step at a time. You get this thing in measures, brother. You start by, guess what, first gathering with brothers, then secondly, getting your fringes, thirdly, letting your beard go. This basically like what Ox say is the starter pack for being an Israelite, bro. That's right. You come in this thing, you get little bit of things here and there, and you take good strides at these things, brother. But it all starts by this. Give me Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Bring it out. Give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. You give me Hebrews 10 and 25. Thanks, Ox. Come on. Whoever gets that first. Read that out. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, yeah. verse 25. Yeah. Not forsaken the assembly of ourselves together. So you're knowing about this truth. Now the next thing to do is to what? Assemble yourself with like minded That's right. Brothers, that's going to what? Build you up in the spirit. Build you up in the commandments, brother. Read on. As the manner of some is. Read on. But exhorting one another. So guess what? When you're around, brothers, we do what? I but exhort one well, another. And I exhort you to do what? Keep God's commandments, brother. We don't know. And so much the more. Uh huh. As you see the day approach. Because guess what? The day of destruction is coming, bro. That's right. So you want right. to guess, guess what? Make haste and hurry up and keep these commandments, man. Right. We don't. For if we sin, we'll for So read that again, Ock. For well, if, if we, we sin, sin we'll, we'll for Meaning what? You know about this truth and you don't want to keep these commandments, that's going into what? Willfully sin and read on. After that, we have received the knowledge that's of the true. truth. Uh-huh. There remained no more sacrifice for sins. There were the what, up? There remained no, no more sacrifice, sacrifice for sins. sins. I'm going to give you another. Read this, Ock. It's the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Read it out. Gather yourselves together. Do what? Gather, Gather yourselves, yourselves together. together. Read that again, Ock. Gather, Gather yourselves together. together. The Bible is commanding us to do what? Gather together, brother. Because guess what? Together we're strong. Read on. Yeah. Gather together, O nation, not desired. Because we're not desired amongst the other nations, but guess what? We're desired amongst each other, brother. You right. understand that? So give me Galatians. What you got? You got something? Read. Nah, give me uh, Ecclesiastes 4 and 9, and you give me Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, because you're going to have that in the truth. You try to stop smoking, everywhere you go, you're going to see people blazing up blunts. You're going to smell weed smoke everywhere. That's just your spirit struggling against your flesh, brother. That's right. Don't let that flesh win, man. Read this. Up. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 16. Bring it up. This I say then. Walk in the spirit. Do what up? Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit by doing what? Gathering yourselves together, being around like-minded brothers. Read on. And ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So if you walking in the spirit, you don't have that opportunity to do what? Go off. What's the spirit according to the Bible, brother? Huh? What is the spirit? According to the Bible, what what the how does the Bible define the word spirit? Huh? That's part of. But we want to make it plain to you. Read this. Uh. This is the book of John, chapter 6, verse 63. Bro. It is the spirit that quickens. It is the what? It, it is, is the, the spirit, spirit that quickens. The word quicken it means to change. Read on. The flesh profited nothing. So your flesh profit nothing. It profits you nothing from getting high. It profits you nothing from eating pork. Nothing but damnation and destruction. Read on. The words that I speak unto you. The what? The, the words, words that, that I speak unto you. you. The what? The, the words, words that, that I speak unto you. you. Read up. Uh. They are spirit. And they are light. So according to that verse, what is the spirit? Light. Huh? Said light. Uh, read it again for him one more time. Verse 63 from the top. It is the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. Uh-huh. The words that I speak unto you. The what? The, the words, words that, that I speak, speak unto you. you. Read on. They, they are spirit. They are what? They, they are, are spirit. So what is the spirit? The That's words. Right. That's all praise. right. Found in the words of God is what? Law, statutes, and commandments. Read on. Right. And they are life. And guess what? They are life, brother. So when you actually start to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, that's what brings you into life, bro. Because right. before this, guess what? You weren't living, brother. You weren't living before you knew this truth. That's right. And more importantly, applying these commandments, our people weren't living as a nation mm -hmm. of people, man. We're in the congregation of the dead, man. Give me that in Proverbs chapter 21, verse 7. Read this, huh? It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4 and verse 9. Bring it out. No. Two are better than one. Read that again out. Two, two are, are better, better than, than one. one. Two are better than one, huh? Read on. Because they have a good reward for their labor. Read on. For if they fall, 
the one will lift up his fellow. Read this again, I. For if they fall. For if they what? For, for if they, they fall. fall. Cause guess what? You might have some slips and bumps and bruises in this truth. But when you got your brother and you getting counseled through the spirit of Yahweh Shah, guess what? You're able to rise back up, brother. Read on. Right. The one will lift up his fellow. The one will do what? The, the one, one will, will lift, lift up his fellow. fellow. Read on. But woe to him that is alone. Read that again. I, but the woe, woe to, to him, him that is alone. alone. Guess what? The word woe means destruction, brother. Destruction to that brother or that sister that don't want to gather. Guess what? Read on. It's like, but woe to him that is alone when he falls. Uh-huh. For he is not another to help him up. Uh-huh. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. It's going into a marriage with a husband and a wife. Two lie together, guess what? You can get more heat, especially in the winter. Brother, this is for you too. You believe in the truth, brother? Yes, sir. You know about your, what's your nationality according to the Bible? Uh, tribe too. That's all right. praise, man. Oh, y'all did all praise, man. Stay and listen to it, man. Read this out. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 7. 16. Verse 16. Uh, verse 16. The man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. The man that wandered out of the way of understanding, you're remaining in the congregation of the dead. That's why they make all these different movies about us, uh -huh. man. The Walking Dead. That's, they they That's right. spiritually are mocking us. So Teach, all blacks, Hispanics, Teach. and Native Americans. Because we don't know our nationality. That's right. We don't know how to properly worship the Most High God. Right. We don't know what He requires of us, man. Teach. Our people feel the Christianity churches and they ever dead up in them damn uh -huh. things, man. That's right. The Walking Dead, man, like how the scripture is saying. Read that again, huh? Verse 16 from the top. The man that wandered out of the way of understanding uh -huh. shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So guess what? It's your time to guess what? Start keeping these commandments. You got some more questions, brother? Uh, you don't uh, eat pork or nothing, do you? No, no, no. Oh, praise, man. You ain't been celebrating uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and so forth, right? Yes, oh, praise, man. What you finna say? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of like just really trying to get to like what you guys doing right now. Like, I want to be this. But, like, oh, guess what? Okay. We want you over That's here. That's right. Oh, but hey. guess what? Hey, it's steps that you got to take. First, you got to get do what? Show up to the school, brother. So you can do what? Get built up. Give me that Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10. Bring it out. So you can get, actually get built up, man. Brothers took the time in to get to this level, brother. You understand me? But guess what? We want you on this side, though. Read this. Oh, it's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1 and verse 10. Bring it on, bro. See, I have this date set thee over the nations uh -huh. and over the king. Read on. To rule out and to pull down uh -huh. and to destroy. And to what? And, and to, to destroy. destroy. To destroy all these strongholds that's on our brothers and sisters out here. Read on. And to throw down. And to throw down this kingdom. Read on. To build up. To do what? To, to build, build up. up. To do what? To, to build, build up. up. And build you up with God's laws, statutes, and commandments, man. So it's a process, bro brother. But you got to take that first step by coming to the school, man. Read on. And to plant. And to what? And, and to, to plant. plant. And to plant you with God's laws, statutes, and uh, commandments, Teach, man. I You understand that, man? So we want you in this thing, but you gotta come to the building, man. Come be learned around, be around learned men. You say what, brother? Where's the building? Say it again. Where's, Where's the, the building? building? That's the. That's what I wanted to hear, man. Get that brother hand, man. So we will give you the address, man. That that was the next question I was hoping that you did, would ask, brother. Because guess what? That lets brothers know if you're serious or not about that thing, man. Because we see the day coming, hey. It's getting closer and closer. I know brothers can feel that thing in the earth. You can feel it too, can't you? You don't feel like something's about to go down, man. Destruction is coming, man. And guess what? Whether you're in the spirit or whether you're not. Give me uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Whoever gets there first, man. See these Bible thumpers, man. It's the book of Romans, chapter uh, 6, and verse 23. No! For the wages of sin is death. For the wages of what? For, For the, the wages, wages of, of sin, sin is death. death. So what is sin according to the Bible, brother? You said death? No. What is sin? That's the wages, meaning that's the payment for sin. What is sin according to the Bible, though? Transgression against the Lord. Oh, praise. That's right. That's the breaking of God's laws. That's right. So the payment for sin, read that again, huh? For the wages of sin is death. Read on. But the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Sister, you believe in the Bible? Now give me a drink. I give that. I gotta, gotta get you a drink. drink. Give me Titus chapter two, verse three. Bring it out. Sister says she gotta get her a drink. Give me Leviticus chapter thirteen, verse thirty. Bring it out. That's leprosy according to the Bible, sis. Teach, y'all. Read this right quick. <laughs> uh huh. Whoever gets there first. 
two and three. Read this though. This the book of, of Leviticus chapter 13, verse 20. Bro, bro. Verse 30. Then the priest shall see the plague. So this is going into a plague that many of our people deal with. Read on. And behold, if it be in sight, deeper than the skin. Uh, so it's something in the skin, read on. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. A yellow what? A, a yellow, yellow thin, thin hair. hair. A what? A, a yellow, yellow thin, thin hair. hair. So the French word for yellow is what? Blonde. So this is going into what? Blonde hair. Like how our sister do. They do that because they do what? Envy our oppressors. oppressors. That's right. It's only one race of people that Teacher, naturally I got blonde hair. But why do you think they push that on our people? Now you got all different type of athletes doing it. You got all different type of rappers doing it. But guess what? They pushing sin on our people and don't even know it, you know? Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. So guess what? Having blonde hair is a sin according to the Bible. That's right. Uh, 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 Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Read this, huh? It's the book of Titus, chapter 2. I started with 3. Uh, starting verse 3. It's the book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 3. Bring it out. The aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. So guess what? That sister should be becoming holiness. Brother, why you don't want the fly? Man, we out here for you, bro. Bring it out. Right? We out here for you, man. You think we out here like the five heartbeats for nothing, man? Why you don't want the fly, brother? We out here trying to save the souls of all people. That's right. They always ask me, what y'all doing out here? Man, we trying to change the minds and spirits of our people, man. That's right. Read right. this, huh? Just Not right. false accusers. Not what? Not, Not false, false accusers. No. Not giving too much wine. And sister was out of the spirit by saying that, man. Right. The Bible said not giving too much wine. She looked like she already had it. Uh huh. Not giving too much wine. That's uh. what's wrong with our sisters right now. They're not keeping this part of the commandments. Read on. Teachers of good things. So she should be a teacher of good things. Read on. That they may teach the young women to be it's, sober. It's her job to be what? An example to the younger women. You see the sisters that's out here <laughs> want to glorify Cardi B, want to glorify doing what? A Doja Cat. Being thoughts, being all this, that they shouldn't be according to the Bible. Read on, not that they may teach the young women. And it's their job to teach the younger women, read on. To be sober. Uh-huh. To love their husbands. Read on. To love their children. Read on. To be discreet. Uh-huh. Chaste. Keep us at home. And the sister wasn't nothing discreet about that sister, man. She put it all out there, letting us know that guess what? Uh -huh. She liked that drink, man. That's right. Read on. Good. Obedient to their own husband, read on. That the word of God be not blasphemed. That the word of God be not blasphemed. Because that's what we do with blaspheming the word when we're not keeping the commandments, bro. You got some more questions, man? We love the questions, man. That's what we out here for, man, to answer questions, to change the minds of our people. Bro, you got some questions? I know the brothers dealt with you earlier, man. All praise, man. You ain't been smoking no weed or nothing, have you? Hey, you know you can't do that, right? Yeah, I know. That's why I have to physically put my all into doing it because I'm still trying to fix myself before I commit myself. You know what I'm saying? That's right, man. Like you're telling with the brother, it's, it's levels, but you need to be, guess what, aspiring to those levels. That's right. You got some questions, man? This is school of this morning. Huh? Right, no, this is in the Pleasant Grove area of the morning. Yes, yeah, oh. is it uh, open, open to, to tomorrow? Yeah, we've we'll been there. Matter of fact, I'll be doing class tomorrow, brother. You're more than welcome to come in there, man. Probably be in there about 3 or 4 o'clock, man. So you're more than welcome to get PM. Read this, huh? This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 7. Read it out! Surely oppression make it the wise man man. So you know that we're oppressed as a nation of people, right? So guess what? Being in that oppressive state, guess what? It should make you mad, man. That's right. We're seeing the death of our young, young black brothers, young Hispanic brothers. Guess what? That should make you feel some type of way, brother. Read that again. Huh? That's what you gon' get with that war. War. Jeremiah 51 and 20. Battle axes, God's weapons of war. We don't battle axes, God's weapons of war. We on the corner and we ready for war. And I know you ain't seen nothing like this before. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war.